crescent-shaped sliver of an island in the vast Pacific Ocean. It's part of an idyllic atoll, now under threat from climate change. It's very thin, it's low-lying. So, see, see, you can see the seas around the land. And it's science says that uh, sea level rise is happening. It just might disappear in the near future. The situation could get critical after 2050, we're warned. This is Coin Etuas. Her job within the regional intergovernmental organization is to manage climate projects on her native islands. The advance of the ocean is already visible. Coin Etuas would certainly like the world to go green. The project is funded by the International Climate Initiative. Workshops involving children and disabled people pass on insights about climate change and provide tips on saving energy and preventing unnecessary waste. Over half of the 100,000 strong population of Kiribati now live on the main atoll, Tarawa. Many of them are climate refugees from the outer islands. This boy is eight years old. On weekends, he has to go out and gather firewood for his family. Koina Duas is relieved to hear that he at least is attending elementary school. Family ties are close in Kiribati. That helps the island inhabitants overcome many of the hardships and difficulties of living here. Down at the docks in Bessio, most of the little work available comprises menial jobs and is poorly paid. The president of Kiribati is preparing for the possible evacuation of sections of his population. It's the erosion of society as well as the coastlines that concerns him. Um, we have a very high proportion of young people. And so with that, is uh, unemployment, with that, the potential for social disorder. And so we are putting a lot of resources there. We are giving it a lot of priority. And as you correctly state, climate change is something that we know and we must continue to do it. But at the same time, we do not ignore the our own, our other ongoing challenges. Strong wind. Strong wind. Erosion. Erosion. Climate change and the need for cooperation is now on the syllabus of local schools. I wish that uh, the people will continue to live on these beautiful islands and that the Kiribati Islands will not uh, Disappear. As sea levels rise, the inhabitants of Kiribati have the most immediate interest in ensuring that this tropical paradise is not lost entirely. <laughs>